Howdy everyone, welcome back to the Looney Geeks Out channel, and today we're back with another unboxing video. It's been a little while since I've done one, I think. I don't know, I'm not, y'all know I'm not great with time, but this is an exciting one. This, uh, shipped in all the way from Germany pre-order, uh, so we've been waiting a while for this one. This is Kanon Fever's new EP, uh, The Yankee Division, I think it is. I know the title track is The Yankee Division March, but I think the EP itself is just The Yankee Division. This is on vinyl, a uh, 7-inch record, I believe. And it's one that I, I, again, I'm very excited about. I've been waiting for this one a long time, so let's just go ahead and get it. Today we're using the uh, M4 bayonet instead of the uh, usual K-Bar for the uh, simple reason that I ended up grabbing this one instead of the K-Bar. Uh, because uh, the, um, the grip of them, the hilt or whatever, is pretty much identical. So let's see if we can uh, get that in there. There we go. And I don't know how if I do this. That does not work. So I'm just going to fiddle around. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. So uh, I need to one day get like a second camera so I can have it point down as I'm doing this stuff. But I'm probably not opening this up safely at all. Let's see if I can just get it from here. Unboxing things is fun, but man, sometimes it is just very hard. But now we're getting a start, tearing it up, but getting a start. But as I open this up, you know, this is a weird unboxing because normally I'm unboxing K-pop albums, but here I am unboxing, uh, man, is it, would this count as black metal or black and death metal? I don't actually know. I'd, I'd say, uh, black and death metal, but I, I could have just ripped the tape off. All right. Wasted my time with the knife. Uh, but I, there's an argument to be made for both. So let's get this opened up and oh all right right off the bat let me just take a look at this so this is uh some noises other projects i have moved this uh, if the audio is bad in this i would do apologize but uh so we've got uh litha sisyphus which uh, i've been meaning to check that one out and then uh impious by non s not not Man, I can't speak by non est deus, which again I've been to check out because um, what uh, the few snippets I've heard off of both of them are great. But here we have this still in here, so let me uh get this out. And oh, the back looks cool, the front looks cool. I I love this cover art. Just uh, the I can't remember the artist who does this stuff, but um, just they do an amazing job. So let y'all get a good look at that. Uh, ignore the <laughs> glare, uh, but. Uh, just amazing cover art there, and then the back, um, this is, if I'm so strictly, an actual, uh, propaganda piece of art from the, uh, from, uh, the, the, I can't, again, I can't speak from the war, and, uh, let's see, two tracks, the Yankee Division March, which I have heard that one, that one was amazing, features the vocalist from the Black Dahlia murder, and, um, just really, uh, th that one was like, yeah, that track alone, this is worth getting, and then, uh, I'm learning German, I'm probably going to butcher this, but uh, Die Fastnacht der Halle, uh, which uh, apparently, according to Google Translate, translates to Hell's Mardi Gras, and if memory serves correctly, is about, um, about the Battle of Bello Wood from the German perspective, with the Inca Division March being about the Battle of St. Mihail, I believe it is. And, uh, so, uh, just some good, solid World War One themed metal. And if I can get this, we'll take a look at the, uh, record. I think I went for just the, uh, standard, you know, I'm gonna take the knife and just poke that. There we go. I think I went for the standard, um, orange vinyl, but I can't remember for sure. It, it has, it, it's been a while since I pre-ordered this, because I think I got pre-ordered it, like, the day it was available to do so, which was a while back, so... If I can get this to open, there we go, there we go. And it, I'll say, this is my first 7-inch uh, record. Again, I think this is 7 inches. I'm not great with uh, space either. Anything number-related, I'm not great with. So normally, I, I get the full-size one. So to have one that's this small is just it's an interesting thing to me, because I've never really seen that. But we got this... Is there anything else in there? Nope. Uh, solid uh, black um, paper sleeve. Well, I've seen a lot of white sleeves, and... Uh, a lot of sleeves that, you know, have some kind of, you know, decoration on them, but, uh, this is the first one I've seen, at least that I can remember, 
and it's just uh, black paper instead, so that's nice. And this is indeed the orange vinyl. And, ooh, that is a very nice color. So there is a uh, side one, uh, the Yankee Division March. Uh, yes, that is side one. And here is um, side two, Die Fasnacht der Halle. Uh, again, probably butchering that pronunciation. So yeah, this is a nice little vinyl. I, uh, I was expecting this to be a slightly different shade of orange. I was expecting it to be a bit closer to, uh, if, if I can pick this up, to what is uh, on the cover. But I certainly can't complain about it. They did say on the site that it would differ slightly from the promo image and everything. So it, it, it is a very nice shade. I would have expected it to be a bit uh, darker and a bit more vibrant, but... Um, does look very nice. Uh, not too much in this one. There is nothing like caught in here. That has happened a few times. Uh, yes, nothing. So this, this is, you know, it's an EP. It's not going to be a full album, so there's not going to be quite as much with it. Shorter unboxing video. This is one that I just, I wanted to do this because Canona Fever is one of my favorite artists out there right now. Just uh, everything they're doing is just, it's, it's amazing. Um, so if y'all haven't heard this EP yet, uh, go and check it out. I only know one track off it, but I can already uh, highly recommend it. I, I'm about to run out and get some supper. I think we're doing pizza, maybe, which would be nice. But as soon as I get home, I'm putting this thing on on the record player downstairs, and I'm, I'm going to have some fun checking it out. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to giving this a listen. Uh, it arrived actually pretty speedily once that I actually shipped out. It took... Maybe like two weeks, which for international shipping is uh, certainly not the worst I've had. I ordered an album from Russia a couple of years back uh, off of Discogs, and that took uh, three months to arrive. So that that was um, that was one that I thought I'd never get, but I, I, it ended up arriving and is now one of my favorite items in my collection. Uh, Creed's Five League by Starlight like 328, a really good noise album about World War One. But, anyways, at this point, I am just rambling, so I'm just gonna wrap it up, uh, again, this amazing cover art, amazing art on the rear, uh, excellent usage of, um, the original stuff from the time period, perhaps, it, it might be, like, a redrawn version, but this, this design, at the very least, does date back to World War One. I. I have seen that before, um, the record itself is nice, and, um, just the, the quality of this is really solid, this is, um, Honestly, probably one of the best quality vi vinyl cases I have, and I've, I've got a, a decent amount at this point. There's just, there's something about this, it, just, it feels very nice, it, um, it, it's, uh, very well put together, everything like that, so, um, very well done, just on, like, the physical aspect of all this stuff, ignoring the music, which, of course, is very good, but I'm rambling again, that is going to do it for this unboxing, there will be another one sometime soon, I might have mentioned that already or not, um, I know I said it, but I don't know if I said that on the video or just, like, in my preparation. I was like, alright, so these, these are the talking points I know I want to hit with everything and, like, the intro and all that, so. Uh, there is another unboxing coming out soon. I don't know exactly when because I'm still waiting on the album to arrive, and uh, I do not know when it will arrive. And then I've got two other things I'm going to try to pre-order tonight, so I'll be in watch those. Well, I'm rambling again. Uh, that is going to do it. I'm going to shut myself up. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, like, subscribe if you want to see more, and comment down below. Um, hey, hey, tell me what you thought about this album, if you've heard of this EP, um, and all that fun stuff. I'm trying to do the, uh, reaction outro here, and it doesn't work, but, uh, in the description, um, a link to Discord, Instagram, Twitter, uh... And my link tree, which has all uh, my other stuff, including, since we're unboxing a historical-themed album today, uh, you can see a few uh, elements of my historical collection. I do have an Instagram for that, which will actually be undergoing rebranding sometime soon, where I'm going to try to put a lot more work into my posts. So drop a follow over there if you like history and want to learn a bit more. Uh, but anyways, anyways, uh, ramblings aside, uh, I'm finally done. Once again, thank you all for watching, and until next time, I'll be seeing ya. I can't reach the camera.